a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fanatic News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick reaction to the unfortunate Phantoms 2-1 to overtime loss on the goal by Tim Schaller, the former Canuck, that he was able to get in the assist by Josh Curry and POJ Pierre Oliver, Olivier Joseph, who will be up eventually in a mainstay with the Pittsburgh Penguins, unfortunately, for our Flyers. But... This was a game that was literally a goalie duel. I must also say, I forgot to shout him out yesterday. Bob Rotruck is the man, the myth, the legend, one of the best announcers in the AHL. And also great at writing the game recaps and game previews. That's where I get some of my facts from that I pair with the stuff that I like, what I saw recently with the players as well. So big shout out to him. But let's get into this game. Uh, Brendan Saunier showed us some old school hockey. Love this kid. He's an enforcer to the max. And also actually has made so, uh, quite a few uh, nice plays for the Phantoms this year too mixed in there as well. He was very fun to watch with Redding. Had a bunch of penalty minutes last year. You know he's not afraid to step up to anybody before the COVID season. Shut down the Royals who unfortunately did not play this year. And will next year will be great to have them back as the Flyers ECHL team. But unfortunately they didn't play this year so he got to play with the Phantoms Brendan Sonia and he took advantage of it he got an assist on the line of Sandine goal that Chris Mueller um, one of the all-time uh, longest tenured currently uh, AHLers uh, also got an assist on that one as well and then Sonia got rocked by Mike Riley and did not let him live that down as soon as he came back he immediately got thrown right back out because he fought him like an old school hockey fight destroyed him in the fight then as they were down he was still punching on him as the linemen were trying to break him up like you used to see kind of growing up like I used to see I'm only 24 now but growing up in the earlier 2000s even to like the early 2010s NHL you don't see that as much anymore it was really fun to see that he got the two for instigation, a 10-game misconduct, and also a five for fighting, but I think it was worth it. He showed spunk. He stood up to the guy that pounded him in the head for no reason. Well, they got a late penalty call on that. They almost missed that penalty call, too, but they got a late penalty call on that. So I think that was a great play by Saunier there to do that. <clears throat> and then, unfortunately, on a power play, that they definitely didn't deserve one of those two calls. Uh, there was a phantom trip in that play, literally, no pun intended, since we're the Phantoms, but there was a phantom trip that they caught a penalty for. The other one might have been a penalty to get it to at least a regular power play, but he scored one that was a 5-on-3, Anthony Angelo, to tie it up. That was unfortunate for Felix Sandstrom because, again, uh, he played a hell of a game on 34, um, having 30, let's see, they had 34 shots, so 32 saves on 34 shots, excuse me. I must have 34 saves. His Wilkes probably went 1-for-4 in the power play, but on a power play, I don't think they should have even had a 5-on-3 because of a phantom trip. Uh, that just should not, on drogues, I believe it was, that should just not have been called. So that's just the way it was. This was a goalie duel. Felix Sanson's playing like a menace. He had a 37 save performance um, and then has backed it up with two really good back to back performances. Ryle in the performance before also showing you could tell, um, well, not the performance before because that was against Hershey, but the performance before that, excuse me, before he got injured, I meant to say, in the layoff was. You could see he was starting to show some signs, and then he fully put it together in the 37 save performance, and then put it together again yesterday, where this was just a game, no matter who lost, the goalie did not deserve to lose. It, it didn't matter who lost this game. I mean, the only reason that the Penguins were able to win is because Alex Diorio, who's been their best goal, he's been stepping up lately, doesn't have the most sexy inner stats when you look at them, but has been good in stepping up and successful for them lately, stole this game for the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins. He made 41 saves on 42 shots. Lehigh Valley played a hell of a game. Felix Sandstrom played a hell of a game. Sandine Forster was good as well. I thought Ratcliffe looked good again. I thought LeBurge looked good again on the ice. I thought Wilson looked good in his first game back. They played a hell of a game. They just weren't able to get it done because Alex Diorio was just a menace on the ice and was able to just by an inkling out Sandstrom to no fault of his just because there was a perfect setup in overtime from POJ to Curry to... Uh, to shower the former Canuck again to be able to win, and this is a game that no goalie deserved to lose, but someone has to lose a game, and it ended up being uh, Felix Sansom, but he played a hell of a game. Congratulations to the kid again for having back-to-back -back. very good menace to the other team performances. I love to see that. And then Linus Sandin's looking really good of late. Uh, Brendan Saunier's a very fun enforcer-type player to watch uh, in the minors, whether he's in Redding or now in Lehigh Valley. He's a very fun player to watch. So it's, there was a a lot of positives in this game for a loss this was probably the least 
the mo like I've lost that there's not even much negatives to take because the Phantoms played so well. They just got beat by a very good goaltender, and then Samson was a great goaltender too. This was like the Wainwright and Zach Wheeler game the other day where they were just both dealing against each other pretty much. Uh, for my also baseball fans, that's pretty much what this was. <clears throat> like an old school game um, where the goalies just really outmatched and just kept matching each other hand for hand. And then unfortunately, they got the one that Sandstrom had no chance in OT on a perfect setup that was to Tim Schaller there and were able to win. This has been a reaction to the fan of an unfortunate 2-1 OT loss to the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins that no goalie would have deserved to lose. Alex Diorio was able to get the win. Felix Sandstrom played a hell of a game. I would say Diorio is definitely the first star of that game for getting the win, but I would put Sandstrom as the second star for how good he did as a goaltender, and then Tim Schaller would get the third star. Unfortunately, he got two pens on there because they were able to win the game, but he was able to get the winning goal. Have a great day and pleasant day. This has been the latest edition of the Ghostly Take a Reaction to the goalie duel, unfortunate 2-1 OT loss to nobody's fault that the Phantoms got in overtime. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. And also to my NFL fans, enjoy the draft tonight. Peace.